the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Speaking of the comments, every time when I start the show, I say let me know what's going on in the comments, and y'all have. And I think that has been why the show has done as well as it has, why we've done so good, is because all you back and forth with me. You know, when I first started this thing, I didn't know what it was going to be, but quickly, a lot of you kind of grabbed onto it and started talking in the comments, talking to each other, talking to me. And that's became a, a really good thing. So that's what I want to talk to you about. A lot of times in there we got questions. A lot of times people share their successes, how well they're doing. But sometimes we get people talking about how things are not going well, about how they're struggling with it. And that's what I want to talk about today. Let me show you this. This comment's from Jason and he says, how am I using Nectar for the Gods? The wrong way, apparently. It's so overly complicated with no clear direction other than keep buying more products to supplement the missing elements in the line. Frowny face. Jason, I sympathize with you because um, a lot of times when people are using this line and they start to struggle, they struggle with some sort of deficiency and they say, hey, for instance, I have a magnesium deficiency and people say, you know, get you some Demeter's Destiny, that's going to fix it. And I've heard that advice a lot. I've given that advice a lot and in the moment, in the middle of your grow, I don't think that's bad advice. But in the larger picture of if you're just learning to grow or just starting to grow with nectar, I think it doesn't give a clear picture of the nature of deficiencies and struggling in the grow. Because while there certainly are times when there are deficiencies in our grow and things we need to add to get there, um, let me show you something. I'm coming right back. Gaia Mania, the bloom formula. This is the basics of everything. It's where you start out. And it's an all-in-one. And all-in-one means that just about everything you need, maybe everything you need, you know, in addition to your good soil, is in this bottle. And so if you were just to use this, in theory, you shouldn't have any deficiencies. And you say, well, then why am I getting deficiencies when I'm adding things? Well, let me show you something that Scott said. If you start overfeeding, the plant just stops accepting everything and starts just focusing on a few things and then you get these imbalances and deficiencies. Okay. They start going for the easier meal and then you start to see the plants starting to struggle because they're lacking potassium, they're lacking calcium, they're lacking something because uh -huh. they're accessing this. And so something's building up because they're only accessing one thing. If I can even that playing field, reduce what I gave them too much of, then they start accepting everything again and maintaining that 250 to 350 range. Interesting, eh? So. I guess what I'm trying to say with all this is that while, you know, there certainly are situations where deficiencies arise and things you need to deal with, if you're just getting started with this, I would back off from using a bunch of stuff to using just maybe the Spartan line or even just maybe some One Shot and some Gaia, maybe some Medusa and Zeus. Really backing it down to the basics and also not just back down to the basics, but not pushing hard. Maybe go half strength on your regimen because a lot of times I think we get this stuff and we say, well, I'm using the basics, but I'm trying to get yield or I'm trying to get expression. I need more hurt. I need to push harder. And later on, I certainly would say that you should experiment with that to find out what works for you. But in the beginning, or even if you're having some trouble down the road, back it back to just some basics and really focus on the fundamentals of your grow. Not just the fundamentals with your nutrient line, but also, you know, how often and how much you feed and water, the lighting in your setup, the humidity, the heat, all those factors, the ventilation. Look at these things and try to get really back to the basics. And, you know, also, I would say with any human endeavor, adding a little love to it helps. Just try to, you know, show some love and empathy to your plants and um, give them a little bit and see how they work with that before you try to push them harder to grow. And uh, I guess that's that for the show. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about some new stuff. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.